We're going to do the same thing with this uh, pregnant pig tract. We're a little bit further along in gestation and just want to see how uh, things have progressed. Um, and so we'll just open up here, try and dissect one of these out cleanly so we can observe the membrane systems. And then sex these. At this stage, that shouldn't should be quite easy to, to sex these. Uh, okay. Looks like the, the membrane systems here are a little bit tangled between this fetus and the next one, so I'm gonna take the next one out as well. To something like that throughout, but okay. But I think you certainly can get a sense of how these are 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 linked. Um, should be able to see the uh, amniotic vesicle. There, there it is. The amniotic sac inside there. I'm out in your way, Dave. Is that, are you getting any of that? Okay. You can see the amnion there over the fetus and take one out. So there's one of the baby pigs. Uh, clearly a, a female. There's no male genitalia there. And Hugo, you want to go ahead and get a crown rump length on that? We can get an estimate of the age. Um, just one other point uh, to make on these. Obviously, we're a lot further along in the pregnancy. Uh, on the ovary, we do have uh, corpora lutea. You can see that they're a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit more pale. They are uh, kind of reaching the, the end of their uh, functional uh, ability as we're getting close to the end of pregnancy. You can see that on the other ovary as well. Uh, Corpora lutea, a little bit smaller, a little more light, but uh, still producing enough progesterone to maintain uh, this pregnancy. So. I think one of the interesting things that you can see when you look at a litter like, like this one, a large litter, is some of the variation in, uh, in size of the fetuses. One of the things that you'll notice here is that there's quite a bit of variation in the size of these. and. Um, it's not because they're actually older. Um, you know, the variation in, in size, you know, you might guess that, you know, some were two or three, four days difference in, in age, but uh, that's not the case. They all were probably fertilized within about a 24 hour period. And so, really what you're seeing is a difference in how much of the maternal nutrition they're able to get. And that has a lot to do with how much uh, actual surface contact 
the fetal membranes have within the uterus. And when they're really early on, before they've actually physically attached to the uterine wall, um, they actually are sort of staking out territory within the mother's uterus. And so the more advanced ones can, can do that more rapidly and get a little more territory and end up uh, growing better in utero. And uh, so um, you, know, you end up with these, these differences and apparent differences in fetal size uh, or what might appear to be differences in fetal age that are really, uh, based on the size, really just due to how much nutrition each one is getting. So, I mean, these, these first two, I think, show that real nicely. If you look at those, those first two there, um, see how different they are in size, and yet uh, uh, they really were, you know, very close to the same age. Now, this will be an interesting little adventure here. Yeah. We've got a, we've got a, a fetus that's, um, that, a pregnancy that's going to fail, okay? Um, this mother has invested a lot in this litter of pigs, and so she's going to keep with it. We've got, what, uh, 11 good, viable baby pigs there. 12. 12, sorry. Let me get that last one out of there. So 12, 12 viable ones. Um, so what if there's a problem with just one? Okay, well you're not gonna terminate the whole pregnancy. And so instead, what you do is just reabsorb the nutrients that she's invested so far in this one. And that's what you see here. This is a, we call a mummified fetus. And it is all of, you know, it is, it is being, it's in the process of being reabsorbed. Okay, it's quite a bit smaller than the others. Uh, something was wrong with it and it, it wasn't going to proceed, and so the mother's in the process of now just breaking that down uh, and, and reabsorbing the nutrients that are there, trying to get something back from that, that, uh, uh, that one that she's invested in. So anyway, that's it, guys. 115-day gestation length uh, would be term, so these are getting pretty close to term, you know, just a matter of 10 days or so.